Mark, congratulations. 3 0 win against Derby. Pretty much what you'd have wanted. Yes, I, I, again, I, I thought you know we got the, the first goal and the man got sent off and the, we had a penalty, but that was created by our our fast start, if you like. You know, we talked about really playing balls forward quickly in, into areas and have no strikers running away from the ball, so we got a reward for that. But I must say, you know, when that happens, it, it can be difficult sometimes to break down ten men. And I think we got a little bit edgy then, thinking, well, okay, we, we've got a lead. Do we hang on? Do, do we keep going or what? And they had a few chances, I must say, and they played well to a point, but. You know, we came in at half time and we talked about things and, and, and shuffled things around in terms of what we was expected of us in the second half, what we were going to do. And we carried that forward to a tee. You know, it's all about keeping the possession, passing a little bit quicker, being a bit more patient. But what I call it, a bit confused, I call it like patient play, but quick play. You know, so not to sort of risk the ball giving it away, but when we are moving it, to move it around quicker. And we did that, and I thought we then capitalise on the fact we had a man extra but if you're not moving it quickly and you're getting too many people behind the ball it's not going to work for you so the guys took that on board a clean sheet I'm delighted with a number of things I'm delighted with I mean Yakumete putting him back into the position he's probably more comfortable in you know playing in the 4 4 2 and playing on that right hand side coming in and it wasn't just the goal if you like and his, and his, his, contrib his contribution going forward but I was delighted with the fact that in transition of play he, he worked his socks off to get back in and he was on his knees at the end but still working for the team and, and that's what we need going forward. You mentioned that early incident with the penalty that as you say kind of completely changes everyone's sort of perspective on the game doesn't it when it's, when it's not often you see that so early in, in the match so yeah the fact that the boys kind of got through that kind of period where Derby had that resurgence and stuff was, was really important as well. Yeah, I, th I think it's like, uh, listen, p p the crowd, they, they sit there, they see you go 1-0 up, they see the opposite go to 10 men and then if they expect you to go and dominate the game. And in, in, in doing that, sometimes you, you risk balls, you rush balls and you're not in con what I call in control of your own destiny really in terms of dominating the possession, the play and where you want to be on the ball. So, um, I say, we, we talked about that at half-time, talked about our defenders being a little bit tighter when they did go forward. And again, this team, these boys, they take it on board, they took it into the second half and in the end it looked like an easy, easy result because just the way we adapted to it in the second half. And adapted through those changes too. John Swift got back on the field and helped with kind of possession play. Pele came off fresh legs, Lucas Boyer. So you kind of had to manage the game as well, which was really important. Yeah, and we've had you know a little bit. Andy in the mortar took Andy off because he's been suffering with a cold, heavy cold, the last two days, and he really caught. You know, he came in sec at half time and going out in the second half. I think he wasn't feeling great as well, so you needed to sort of change it there. Thought about putting Pele on straight away, but really realizing all right with them with ten men, we needed more control of the game. So putting Swifty in there, I knew we'd get on the ball and make us play as well. And I mean, a fabulous little ball he put in the box for, for Lucas Joao's goal as well. And of course, it takes us on to another game in a few days' time and against uh, against Queens Park Rangers. Be training over the Christmas period, training on Christmas Day, no doubt, and getting ready for three more points, hopefully. Yeah, I say it's a good start to the Christmas week for us and uh, sets us up nicely for a home game on Boxing Day in the evening against against Queen's Park Rangers, which I you know obviously I played them the second game this year, so I know how tough that's going to be. But if we can keep picking up points, they're saying, and maybe winning our home games as well, I keep saying if you're drawing games, you stay where you are. And it's nice to put points on the board, but when you win games, that's when you start climbing the table. And climbing the table is important too because it happened today. We went above Derby and went above Mont Goal difference. So yeah. it kind of that's just what these results mean. It's the, it's the kind of like the hard the hard evidence that we're, that we're making progress. Yeah, yeah, and we got the game in hand as, as well. All right, that's got to be one to, to make it count. But it is nice to see us sitting there with the game in hand and the team around us as well. But. You know, we'll come out to today's game, as I say again, and we'll have a look at where we are with injuries. I think Sam boldock has got a bit of a stiff or tight groin, so we'll have to see how he settles down come Monday as well. And um, see who we are. Obviously, Swifty's going to be a bit stiff and so coming out of today's game. So we'll count the bodies and see who we are Monday and then look ahead to the Queen's Park Rangers game. Well done, Mark. Merry Christmas. Thanks, and you. And to all the fans as well.